Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the introduction to Z transform. Z transform is the extension of discrete time Fourier transform. So we can say Z transform is the extension of discrete time Fourier transform. So Z transform is the extension of discrete time Fourier transform because discrete time Fourier transform can be applied to only a stable system but Z transform can be applied to both stable as well as unstable system that's why we can say Z transform is the extension of discrete time for air transform you can see Z transform we can apply for both stable as well as unstable systems Z transform is uh, useful in analysis of discrete time signals and systems generally we'll use this for uh, digital filter design and synthesis if we take x of n as an input then the z transform of this signal will be x of z so this we can call this as the output so if we perform the inverse z transform of x of z we will get x of n so the z transform of x of n is x of z and inverse z transform of x of z is x of n so the z transform of x of n is denoted as x of z and it can be defined as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n so this is the z transform of x of n so here z is the complex variable z is the complex variable and x of n and x of z are the z transform pair where x of n is the input and x of z is the output which is the z transform of x of n now we'll see the types of z transform there are two types of z transform unilateral and bilateral z transform we'll call a z transform as unilateral when a z transform is having a single sided summation for example we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n so this is unilateral z transform because summation is having only single side if we say single side which is from 0 to infinity now we will see the bilateral z transform the z transform with both sided summation is known as bilateral z transform so we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n it is known as bilateral because here the summation is from minus infinity to infinity which means the summation is from minus infinity to 0 and from 0 to infinity so that's why we can say it is having both sided summation that's why it is a bilateral z transform another important topic which we need to understand is region of convergence region of convergence is the region where z transform converges so it is the region where z transform converges 
so the region where z transform converges it is known as region of convergence or commonly known as roc so the roc gives an idea about the values of z for which z transform can be calculated so it will give an idea about the values of z for which a z transform can be calculated this is about the introduction to z transform hope you have understood the topic thank you